You might be asking, uh, why is he parked in front of the Fanatics Tower? I thought he said this was a part of the map that doesn't exist to him, and it's totally blacked out, and it should have gone down in an effervescent fire, and just be a giant crater. Um, well, I can't let it go. <laughs> I can't let it go, I have to beat it. And now that I've grinded, uh, I think I can take it, and I also found a Thunder Shield from the Coliseum. Another surprising development, as you guys know from this playthrough, I haven't really had a solid fourth character. Turns out, uh, Ovelia is actually pretty good. Yeah, we're never gonna be using our all in Dispel, but she has Flare that she learned from Starlet. Her magic stat is not half bad. Her stats, period, aren't half bad. She's also got a Pearl Lance equipped and some other really good stuff, so she is actually pretty dang good. So yeah, very surprising that she ended up on my team. In fact, both of the, uh, both of the characters that are pretty much the poster childs of this collateral damage thing are on my team now. Let's go ahead and head into the Fanatics Tower. I cannot let that Thunder Dragon go and as much as I don't care about the marble shoes, it might be pretty helpful to have that quick spell, depending on who can use it. Oh, also, uh, I grinded like crazy and got a crap ton of money also, so I was able to buy 99 of all of the items I need, including tents. Finally, I bought 99 of those. And then I was actually able to buy 30 x ethers from Zen. They were very expensive. I could not buy 99 of those. Granny's feet already hurt from just those couple flights of stairs there. <laughs> oh, but I just realized I can't bring Ovelia up here. I have to go get Garnet because she has our life 30. It's a real good thing I remembered that. All right, well, let's go back down. <laughs> Take two. So yes, every character uh, I have is above level 50. This time Maria has a Thunder Shield, so this should go a little bit better than last time. And all she has to really do is swing with that Illumina and she'll be fine. Wind Slash taking everybody down except Maria. Uh, of course she's frozen now, and I don't want to throw Fire 2 to unfreeze her because it will mean she can't swing her Illumina anymore and that's the way we're going to win this. Unfreeze naturally. There we go. And Cyclonic. That's awesome. She's got no way to heal either. Screw this Storm Dragon, dude. Okay, we got him. Of course he's got life 3, and that's it. Dang it, we were so close. Life 3, dude. I knew about the dangers of Cyclonic, too. I freaking knew it. Okay, doing 9,000 now, because I have the, uh... I decided to trade out the pot bracelet she was wearing for a hero ring. Which means, yeah, she'll be doing a heck of a lot more damage. I don't know if Pearl does anything to Storm Dragon. It does, that's great. Now it's just a matter of doing enough damage either to... Okay, well, there's his life 3. I was going to say, it's a matter of doing enough damage to, sur to kill him before he does Cyclonic, or just survive Cyclonic. But regardless, we beat him before he got to throw it, so there's our Thunder Dragon down, everybody. We got a Minerva out of it. That's pretty sick, actually. And a Dragon Claw. And an attack. Now we gotta heal our team back up to make it up the rest of the dang tower. It's level 90 magics throwing Meteor on me, but we've got a ton of HP this time. Alright, here's our level 90 magic. Let's see if he just throws down Meteor. Sure enough. Ow. As long as he doesn't throw any more of those. We'll be okay. There's Merton. Do we still have Merton protection? Uh, Maria does. And she gave me life 3, thank you. I'm glad we grinded up enough money for all these Phoenix Downs. Flare, that'll reflect. Hopefully he just dies from all these reflected spells. Nice. There's our first encounter with level 90 magic, and we survived the meteor. That means that we have a chance to do this. But we really have to make sure that we're at full health. <laughs> at all times. Not going into any more doors. I don't want to be thrown down the tower anymore. Oh, there it is. W wind. Ugh. Uh, another meteor? We're pretty much dead. Um, let's have some dueling meteors, dude. Maybe Garnet can pull this out. She does still have Reflect. All we gotta do is not get hit by another meteor and we'll be alright. God, I hate the Fanatics Tower. I hate it. Just get me out of here. Oh, That's ours, right? Just go down, dude. Yes! Oh, God, I hate this place. I almost had to climb all the way back up. I hate meteor, dude. I hate level 90 magics. The reason she survived that is because when I leveled her, she was using Crusader underneath of her and HP plus 100. So, level 80 magic. Okay, not a big deal. They cure three themselves, they try to cure three us, we reflect their cure threes and cure three them. It's just a weird dance. So we're just gonna keep mimicking quakes on them until they die. Like that. Alright. And we got another level 90 magic right at the top, because of course. Okay, it's down to Maria. She has to do it. Oh my god. Ow. Okay, just life three to or life three to Twice. <laughs> Three times. Jeez, dude. 
There's our Marvel shoes that we fought all the way up here for. Dude, Daryl's just pissed because I found an Illumina too. I'm going to try and life three Everblen with Garnet. I think this fight only gives us magic points though, so it's not like it really matters. It's the principle of the thing. I want to, all of us to stay alive. Now we just sit back and watch him kill himself, right? I guess maybe we can throw a meteor and mimic it. Throwing out all these free meteors. Maybe I should be throwing them out with Garnet too, just for the extra damage. Again, we've got all of the tinctures in the world. Just healed himself for 8,000, that sucks. And now 7,900. We gotta get on the top end of that healing. Give me your worst, dude. Everybody back. We got a scimitar and some GP for our trouble. And of course, this magicite that teaches us Merton and Quick. Whoever can learn Merton and Quick is gonna be pretty good. But now we gotta get down the tower. <laughs> I hate this. Stop here threeing yourselves. It's annoying. Man, I'm gonna have to go buy more tinctures. Down to 66. Of course it's you guys again. I guess I'd rather see these things than uh, level 90 magics, though. At least these things don't cast freaking meteor on us. Maria, I need you to proc pearl on that, please. It's a one-hit kill on them. Thank you. All I gotta do is get out now and it's done. I, I overcame my, my demon in the seed. Oh, last floor. Let's go, dude. Oh my god, I think we're out. Oh, thank you. I defeated my demon. This freaking tower is toast. Now we can burn it down. I guess, since we were able to escape, let's see who can equip that Merton. Esper, let's see who can equip the Ragnarok. So Elena can equip Ragnarok. Nice. Merton and Quick, so we will definitely be learning that. All we gotta do is go to the Belt Cave and fight those enemies that were giving us 10 magic points. Oh, we got a pair of Marvel shoes too. Elena has a scimitar now, that's pretty cool. If it's the case that Maria is so good that not only she can equip the Illumina, she can equip all of the elemental shields, she can equip the Minerva, she has Absolute Atomic, she can mimic, her magic stat is ridiculous, and she ends up being able to equip the Esper from the Dragons and it teaches Ultima. They just gave this character everything good in the scene. She is ridiculous. Yeah, Merton, she's already done with Merton, it's just quick now. The only Esper left has to be the one teaching us Ultima because none of these do. That's the one we're missing, so Bahamut is teaching us Ultima this time. I think we need to take one more trip to the Colosseum here, just to see what we can get. We are going to have no Paladin Shields for this run, unless we run into one in Kefka's Tower. Because the only thing I've found to trade for a Paladin Shield is the Illumina, and I'm not getting rid of that sword, dude. It has carried me way too much in this seat. Question marks, that's probably a Paladin Shield. Oh, an EXP Egg. Okay, what's the EXP Egg go for? Because we definitely don't need that anymore. And Skyrender got us nothing, right? Magus Rod. I don't think Magus Rod got us anything. Magus Rod gets us Thunder Shield, and Igus Shield gets us a Minerva. In that case, we'd be trading Marvel Shoes all the way up for another Minerva, but I don't know who else could equip it. Granny, Katarin, Rachel, Partha, Dancer, White Mage, Maria, and Terra can all equip Minervas. The Minerva is kind of like a replacement Paladin Shield if you can't get one, too. That is a pretty good item. Um, I don't think so. So we're gonna reset, and we're not gonna worry about it. We can't get anything from the arena. Not gonna do Ebot's Rock. Ooh, you know what we can do since we didn't do it last game? We need to see our ladies having a good time. All right, Ovelia, let's go see your daddy. Ladies having a makeover, of course. Ovelia has no class at all. It's like, now do I throw our all? Children these days don't know manas. Did you just call Granny a hoe? These were all the rage when I was a young girl. <laughs> Only know what a jaunty hat. Functional yet sporty. Oh god, turned into actual gall, that's weird. What have you done to Ovelia? Ooh, white mage clothes? Just because you like to cosplay doesn't mean everyone does white mage. Ovelia, uh, got trimmed up, got a haircut, now is going to tell her father that she's actually a crossdresser. Oh god, boss music! <laughs> this, this is the final boss, everybody! I guess we can escape, even though he's a boss. <laughs>